Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the Prisma 3D 3.0 beta, which brings a host of exciting updates and changes. From new features to an improved user interface, let's explore everything you need to know. When you open Prisma 3D 3.0 beta, the first thing you'll notice is how much the app has evolved. One of the standout new features is the ability to back up your projects, a welcome addition that wasn't available in the 2.0 series. Starting a new project reveals a completely redesigned user interface. At the top right corner, you'll find the menu and the render option now represented by an arrow icon. On the left-hand side, the panel contains the familiar basic tools for various tasks, but with a new addition, an audio feature that expands the app's capabilities. Modeling has also been improved in this version. Clicking on an object brings up a series of options on the left. Selecting the modeling option opens the modeling panel, which has been redesigned to be more intuitive and user-friendly. This new UI is a game changer, making it easier for users to learn and model faster. While the basic editing tools for face, vertex, and edge modes remain unchanged, the bottom panel has seen some updates. The material tool, for instance, now includes a smoothing option, though its exact function is still unclear. Creating animations in Prisma 3D 3.0 is straightforward. After selecting the object you want to animate, simply click the plus button in the bottom right corner and choose Create Animation. This opens the animation panel where you can start bringing your creations to life. As for rigging, Prisma 3D retains its two existing rigging systems, Forward Kinematics, FK, and Inverse Kinematics, providing users with versatile options for character animation. Lighting tools have also seen some enhancement. On the left side of the interface, you'll find options for point lights, sunlight, and spotlights, along with a new addition, Skylight. This feature is perfect for creating realistic outdoor scenes. On the rendering side, users can now export objects in OBJ format, a significant improvement. However, the day and night modes have been removed and replaced with a custom lighting system, which, while versatile, may leave some users missing the simplicity of the previous setup. It's worth noting that once Prisma 3D 3.0 is officially released, some features will require payment or a subscription to access. Despite this, the improvements and new functionalities make this version a promising update for both new and experienced users. That's it for today's overview of Prisma 3D 3.0 Beta. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with more tutorials and app reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.